Michelle and I have a favorite pizza and I'm going to show you how to make it. So today I'm making the dough and it's going to rise overnight and then tomorrow we're going to cook the pizza. So I'll show you step by step. All right, this recipe that Paul found, it's a recipe that you got to weigh everything. 800 grams of flour. What we use is bread flour. Voila. I'm going to actually make a hole because that's fun. Add 20 grams of salt. Good. Eight grams of yeast. And so then that's one package of yeast. Very good. It doesn't say sugar, but I add a teaspoon of sugar because I do what I want. <laughs> I kind of put like lukewarm water. 540 grams of water. Oh, pretend I didn't go over. There we go. Close enough, 541. Okay, so I got oil now, but I was one over, so I might put le one less of oil. So 15 grams of oil instead of 16, but it should be 16. Oh yeah, I should have I could have left it at 15. Oh, it goes between 15 and 16, good enough. That's it, okay. Just get in there, get it all messy and sticky. It's gonna be good enough. And whichever yeast you use, it doesn't matter if it's the quick rise or not. We've used both and it hasn't made a difference. We've let the dough raise overnight, or we've also just like done it in the morning and had it at night. If it's warmer in your house, the dough will rise quicker. If you add warm water, I think the dough ri rises a bit faster. I think the sugar helps too, so that's why I put the sugar. So the idea with this um, pizza dough is that it's a very airy, yummy dough. And you'll see when we cook it tomorrow how well it turns out. I'm pretty close. I am gonna get in there with my hands. All right, there you go. Big sticky pile of dough. That's all you want, nothing fancy, you don't care. So you got your dough all mixed up and it's sticky and all you do is just cover it overnight. I let it dip down because it's gonna fill right up. There you go. I will put our recipe in the description. later and you can leave it overnight and it'll get really big but uh, at any point you can decide to separate it to we do it in five yeah I think the recipe originally said four but we found it was a little bit doughy at four yeah so we break it up into five so you want to separate them at um, like whatever 275 because if you weighed the dough all along then, then it's 275 so yeah butter the pans you see what we're doing <laughs> Just do that. And then you separate these and then we're gonna leave them overnight and then they're gonna get all, whoa, 303. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was a bit tired tonight and I didn't wanna do this, but I'll thank myself in the morning that they got done tonight. You can make them into little dough balls and put them in the middle. <laughs> You're my dough ball. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> put the little dough ball in the middle and then cover it. And then, I don't know, you leave it for like anywhere from like four to 12 hours. And it'll kind of basically find its own bottom in the pan. We see what this looks like in the morning. Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> this is what I woke up to. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> It doesn't always get this big and uh, by the time we put the sauce it'll end up going down again but then it'll raise in the oven so today we'll have some pizza 
The other thing we could have done is when we separated the dough and put some into pans, you could have put like only two pans and you could have put the rest of the dough in each in their bags and you could put them in the fridge or freeze them and use them at another time. Now this you could put in the fridge and use at another time where you can even freeze this. So, so many things you could do. Do this later, breakfast now. Here we go, we'll have pineapple and we'll have bacon. We are going to make this pizza. Well, this part might be fun. You could have probably put butter on the saran wrap or something like that. So with this pizza, of course, you just put your favorite toppings. So your favorite pizza sauce and toppings, like, you know, we do bacon and pineapple and cheese. Usually what happens is that we rise it more in the bowl first and so then it doesn't come quite so big in these pans. I like oregano. I will put the cheddar cheese first. Sometimes I cut the pineapple a little bit smaller but this is fine. I will do mozzarella cheese now. Bacon. gonna be delicious. We put two at a time in the oven and then the rest I'll just gonna cover up and put in the fridge and have covered for supper. We don't usually let them hang around too long. They're too delicious, we wanna cook them. If you just do cheese and no toppings, then 13 minutes is usually good. You wanna take them all right away. Ooh, see, look at that, looks good. And they come right out because we had buttered the pan. Um, I was kind of like 30 seconds late taking them out of the oven because I was too busy with the camera. <laughs> Pizza's ready. Look at this. Looks good. Voila. <laughs> and this is how you make pizza. And then I'll show you how to eat it. I'll show you how to burn my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. It's just right. I like it a lot. Paul's the master of making pizza. He's the one who found this recipe and uh, for some reason when he makes it, it tastes better. But this tastes pretty awesome. Pretty good, babe. Oh, I believe it. Good vibes only. <laughs> Do I get to have one of these or are they yeah, the worst? Yeah, you can have one. <laughs> you're gonna burn yourself. It's too hot for you. Very, very good. As always, you're amazing. Good. There you go. Now we'll go eat them all. It's a pie. I got more than just words. I got more than just words. You bring me songs sweet like the birds. I got more than just words. I got peace in my mind. I got peace in my mind. I think I ate too much pizza. <laughs> so I decided to go for a walk. Anyway, so I've been walking the waterfront and it's been very nice all the boats and then the evening light and it was kind of raining on and off so then sometimes I ducked under the tent at the Gibson's Marina and uh, yeah, a rainbow got to see a rainbow that was just gorgeous and there was the reflection in the water of the rainbows very beautiful I got joy in my soul I got joy in my soul The fact that you're happy What's making me whole Puts a little joy in my soul and I got love in my heart I got love in my heart The promise that no man can tear us apart Puts a lot of love in my heart
you are dating and you want to impress your significant other, at least know one recipe that you could cook up. And so this could be one of them.